we have the customer's ball drilled, I want to show you the correct way to install and glue finger grips. Believe it or not, we visit pro shops all over the United States. We see a bunch of different ways to do this. A lot of people make this harder than what it is. And so I want to just show you a real simple, easy way to do it. Now, remember before when we were drilling, I told you the drill bit would hit the bridge side of the ball first. So you can see this sticks up here. And that causes a lot of problems for people out in the field for some reason. I want to show you a neat way to do this. So all you want to do is put the finger grips in and get this edge by the bridge line just the smallest hair beneath the surface of the ball. Okay, we don't want it sticking up. And let it stick up on this side, okay? And just come back and put one drop of glue on there. One drop. Push that down, just let that set. Just let it set a second. Come around to this side and we have the bridge side of the grip just below the surface of the ball. I just pull it back and I'm going to put just a little drop right there. Just a little bit. That's all you need. Just give that a moment to set up. If you want to apply a little pressure you can. Okay, because why we want that tight is because we're going to come around now that I know that that's holding over here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to push with my thumb. I'm going to push this side down and make it flush. Now that that's flush, I'm going to take my index finger in my left hand, pull back, and I'm going to put a drop in the front. Okay, Just like that. Then I'm going to come over here and put a drop right there, just like that. Now that grip is sitting below the surface of the ball all the way around. All right, and There's no need to trim anything. It's perfect. I'm going to leave the back of the hole open in case the guy's finger shrinks a little bit. He may want to pull that back and put a little shim there. You can tighten up his finger hole. So by now this side has had a chance to uh, dry up a little bit. So again, I'm going to leave the back open, but it allows me to push with my thumb, push this down just below the surface of the ball. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to pull it back. Put a drop of glue right on inside there and just hold her down below the surface of the ball just a little bit and give that a moment to set up. I usually use crazy glue. This is this takes about 15 seconds to set up. I like the instant stuff a little better. That's just me, but this is what we had available. Okay? And now we're glued on three sides that'll never come out. No need to trim anything. You don't have to use acetone. It's done. And it has the perfect shape of the grip that the manufacturer intended. So that's how you want to glue finger grips in. Then you'll know they'll never stick up above the surface of the ball. They're not coming out and you leave the backs open for a place to put a shim. And that's pretty much it. This ball's finished up. All we need now is a little bit of ball cleaner and uh, wipe the lines off the ball. And then this ball is ready to go. We'll set this aside when the customer comes in to bowl their league. Then we'll double check the thumb, do any kind of final fitting. And that's all there is to it. So I just wanted to show you how simple and easy it is to use our new SJ2000 jig and this setup again. For $24.95, you get the whole complete package. And, uh, you know, this, what do you make on selling a bowling ball to somebody? It doesn't take long to recover this. And also wanted to show just how easy it is to use. I mean, you guys are calling us up here all the time with questions, and and you want to know. I mean, do I have to go to school? Do I do I? How do I do this stuff? It's really quite simple to get started. Now, after you get going and you want to get deeper into it, then I'm going to suggest you take an IPSIA certified course. And there's a whole bunch more to do in this stuff, but the basics, the very basics of what it takes to map a ball, check a span, check pitches, how to install a thumb insert and actually drill into the bowling ball. It's really quite simple. So thanks for looking in and check back in the future for more videos. If you also if you have any suggestions for videos, just give us a call. We'll make them up for you. Thanks a lot.